Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, there you are, Charlie. Charlie? Did you want to go outside and have an adventure today? But it's raining. Oh, well, you can still have an adventure inside. Just use your imagination, Charlie. You're good at that. What sort of adventure is this? Are you cleaning the floor with your tummy? You're heading toward Midge. Oh dear! It looked like you fell down all the way from the window to the wardrobe. Oh, I see. You're pretending to climb up a mountain. The window is the top of the mountain and the wardrobe is the bottom. Charlie is a brave mountaineer trying to rescue Midge. Wow, Charlie, you look like a real mountaineer. Are you on top of a mountain? Whoa! Now, that is a tall mountain. And there's Midge, way up on the high snowy peak. You're not going to climb all the way up there to rescue Midge, are you, Charlie? All the way up this sheer rock face? You're the bravest bear I've ever met. Is there no other way up? Then how did Midge get up there? At least there's a safety rope to attach your harness to. Hey, they're like steps. Maybe this won't be so difficult after all. One step, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four hundred and thirty-three. Oh, no more stairs. I wish Midge wouldn't look over the edge like that. Oh, Charlie. I liked it better when you were doing that on the floor. You're very brave, but I don't think I am. Don't forget to hold on tight. Oh, watch out, Charlie. You must be climbing toward the seagull's nest. You'll have to climb around it, Charlie. Can you see where you're going, Charlie? Ooh, that's better. Oh no, there's nothing for you to hold on to. You're stuck, Charlie. And Midge is stuck on top, too. What are you going to do, Charlie? You're using the rope to climb up. What a brave mountaineer. So, how are you going to get down again, Charlie? Oh dear, 
Midge doesn't want to go down the way you came up, Charlie. Now what are you going to do? See, there's another way down. <laughs> and it's a fun way down, too. Yee-ha! You've got to love that bear. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. You're both going to climb back up the mountain. Wow! Be careful. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Is he out somewhere? Charlie? <laughs> oh, Charlie! <laughs> A pot plant, that looks nice. Oh, and another one. Charlie? What are the plants for? Oh! That's a strange way to walk. Do you need to go to the toilet, Charlie? Right. Um. Uh. Mm, uh. Ah! Hold on. That looks like an elephant. So before, you were a... A gorilla! Oh, I know. You're a slithery snake. Elephants, gorillas and snakes all live in the jungle, so that's what the plants are. Your jungle. Do you know what jungle animals like gorillas, elephants and snakes sound like? Are you going to find out what sounds they all make? That hat is definitely you, Charlie. Wow! A hot, steamy, tropical jungle. Let's go and find a... Oh! Midge! Where did you come from? Hiya. Um, you gonna... Good. I'm glad you won't be by yourself looking for animals in the jungle, Charlie. Oh, Niblet has come to join the Jungle Sounds expedition too. Excellent. <laughs> A real live jungle animal. What type of animal is it, I wonder? Yes, of course. That's how a gorilla sounds. A snake sounds too, Charlie. <laughs> wow! Don't be scared. It's only an <laughs> an elephant. See for yourselves. It won't hurt you.
Maybe that's all the animals there are today. Maybe not. What animal could it be this time? I've never heard that sound before, Charlie. I have no idea what it is. Wait, wait, guys. Oh, it doesn't mean that it's a scary animal. Oh, dear. There really is no need to hide in the dark. The jungle is a lot nicer than this cave. Charlie, Midge, Niblet, stop! It's okay, I'm sure it is. Ouch, you okay? I felt that. It's caramel! was Caramel making that noise? She was teasing you all along. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Charlie, that sound was Frozo. You sat on him. Charlie? Oh, oh well. I think it's time to say bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Charlie? Oh, Charlie! Bye-bye, <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Oh. Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. Charlie? Uh, Charlie, what are you doing? Charlie, can you hear us? Charlie? Charlie? Oh, are you okay? What are you reading, Charlie? What are you doing? You lost something. Oh, tell us, Charlie, please. Charlie, go. Charlie! Will you show us that piece of paper you're looking at, please? Oh, it's a map. A treasure map. <gasps> nice. Do you know who makes treasure maps? Pirates, that's who. <laughs> you make a great pirate, Charlie. Ah Are you all set for pirate adventures then, me hearty? Arr! <laughs> Jolly Roger pirate flag. This must be a pirate island, and there must be buried treasure here. How exciting! You won't find it like that, Charlie. Use your treasure map. That's it. You have to follow that dotted line and then that, that big X must mark the spot where the treasure is buried. Yes! That palm tree must be that one on the map. You're at the start! <laughs> You're at the start! All right, I'll stop doing the voice. OK. There was some fruit on the map, Charlie. Was it an apple? No, you need to find bananas. Carrots. Watermelon. Broccoli, but none of those things grow in trees. Ah, bananas. You're on the right track, Pirate Charlie. Yes, 
up and over the mountain to find the treasure. Aha! All right. I, I, I promise I'll stop. What do you need to find next, Charlie? Something in the shape of a semicircle. Hmm. Uh, Charlie? There's your semicircle! The rainbow! You're getting closer to the treasure! Hey! Ah! And next, a cave! this snow come from? Oh, well, it's marked on the map. It's that big white area. It's snow. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you naughty pirates! You're supposed to be finding buried treasure, not throwing snowballs at me. Come on, me hearty. You must be getting very close to the treasure now. Ah! Well, you started throwing snowballs. Why can't I do the voice? All right. Don't you know where you are, Charlie? Oh. Hold on. Are those stripes you're standing on? The X! Aha! X marks the spot where the pirate treasure is buried. You found it, Charlie! You found it! Oh! A treasure chest! Wow! Open it, Charlie. Go on. You found your friends! Fantastic! The best treasure of all. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination, Charlie. You're a pirate who found treasure. Ha <laughs> ha! Me heart go. <laughs> okay, I I'll stop now. Bye bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Where can he be? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. And a tomato has grown on your tomato plant. That's your first one, isn't it? And when it turns red, it will be ripe and ready to eat. Yum! <laughs> You can't colour it and make it turn red. You have to water the tomato plant, then it will grow some more. That's it. Plants get thirsty, you see. Charlie, it takes time for a tomato to ripen and sunshine. Plants need water and sunshine too. Out into the sunshine goes Charlie and his tomato plant. And now back again. What's the matter? All I can see is a seagull. Oh, you think the seagull will eat your tomato? But seagulls don't eat tomatoes, at least not when they're growing on a tomato plant. You don't have to scare the seagull away, Charlie. Your tomato will be safe outside in the sunshine. It will. Beautiful farm. 
Look at all these amazing fruits and vegetables that are growing. Huh? Charlie? <laughs> oh, I see. You're a scarecrow. So are you protecting all these lovely fruits and vegetables? Ready to scare off any bird or animal that tries to eat them? Well, there doesn't seem to be anything here to scare away. Not yet, at least. And look at this garden. There are tomatoes and cucumbers and carrots and lettuces. And Frozo is a seagull. A seagull? Seagull is not easily scared, Charlie. <coughs> He's not in your garden anymore. I think you can stop shooing him away for now. Don't think he would have eaten anything, Charlie. Caramel would eat something, though. She's a cow. She's even less scared of you than the seagull was. What are you going to do now? Poor Caramel. If you can't scare her, push her, I suppose. Easy being a scarecrow, is it, Charlie? Um, Charlie, it's Niblet. And bunny rabbits definitely eat vegetables, especially carrots. Chase him away, Charlie. Bravo, Scarecrow. Oh, dear. They look very sad. They're hungry, Charlie. Well, at least Caramel and Niblet are hungry. It's not much fun eating when everyone else is hungry and hasn't got anything to eat, is it, Charlie? <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> That's such a lovely thing to do, Charlie. And now they won't eat anything in the garden because they'll be full of sandwiches. Amazing what you can do with your imagination. Are you going to take your tomato outside into the sunshine so it ripens nicely and turns red? Bye bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye bye, everybody. 